All right, folks. Quite a lovely day here. Thought I'd uh, go ahead and come out here and uh, don't mind all that. We just clean the gutters out. Those things can be a pain in the ass. Um, thought I'd give you guys a little system walk around, a little walk through, whatever the fuck you call them. Um, a lot of people been wondering about that, and plus this system's gonna stay the way it is for a while, so I figured I might as well let you folks know. We got um, a total of uh, six selenium six and a half, the six W4Ps. I actually got these uh, crescendos in here right now because I stuck the seleniums in my wife's car and haven't pulled them out yet. Yeah. But um, yeah, I got six selenium, six W4Ps. I got a total of uh, six selenium ST200s. Um, the ones in the windows, of course, with two selenium 8W4Ps. Now, you guys don't laugh at me. I'm going to pop my hood real quick and show y'all what's going on up here. Ooh, dirty. All right, I got a uh, excess power D3400 up here. Um, multiple runs of zero got one uh, going to my alternator which is a can't really see it down there but it's a DC 270 XP DC power very uh very strong alternator the DC hooked up for me love it absolutely love it does like uh, 200 amps at idle like 300 amps at uh, uh, 1800 rpm but anyway yeah, I got all the wires and fuses and so forth um, I got like three runs to the back. I got uh, three grounds directly on the Frizzaim, Bo Rizil. And a lot of this stuff isn't finished yet, so it's gonna look kind of janky, so bear with me. Anyway, you guys know what's going on back here. Four DAD BD-15s for the motherfucking win. Um, we got a Pioneer 3200 DVD. I've had this thing for a couple years. I might need to. And it works fine, so it's really ain't broke, don't fix it type situation. I love that thing. Might replace it with the full seven inch, maybe one of the new Pioneer Head units, 2012 units. Um, let's walk on back here. Back here we got four Arc Audio XDI 2000.1s. We have a Arc Audio ALD. 10 volt line driver. Back here we got um, six Sprinter 370Fs. Uh, yeah, Sprinter's the name of the, the batteries. Maybe you can see the logo a little bit in there. Oh yeah, we can't forget, we got plenty of audio techniques. Four gauge, and uh, these amps actually take uh, two gauge. I should have just done zero and reduced them, but oh well, it's fine. I mean, they're literally going from here to here, so it's not that big of a deal. Uh, yeah, audio techniques all the way through, all audio techniques, 8 gauge, as you can see, for some reason, a snap-on little screwdriver, that's for fine-tuning, you know what I mean? Alright, and here's where it gets ugly, oh yeah, you can see a couple of, uh, a few of the grounds going to the frame, I don't need to get out of the car and show you that, go fuck yourself, guys. Um, oh yeah, there's those guys. I got two, uh, Arc Audio KS 300.4s. A little bit of a spaghetti monster down here right now, but I'm gonna get all this covered up pretty soon. Uh, all the speakers are labeled as to avoid confusion. Um, shit, I, I want to say that's it. Uh, Rhino Line Hyundai, some 22s. I got off Craigslist off some dude who had them on the 300. I don't even remember the brand. You used to be able to see the name on there, but I plastic dipped them and never pulled that off. Um, yeah, it's, this is my old hunk of shit, folks. Uh, nothing special. Uh, Mink headliner. Am I missing anything? <laughs> um, yeah, I think that's uh, that's just about it. Yeah, so yeah, this was a system walkthrough of Twisted System. Now you know what's in here. I put it in the description of every video, but some people don't read. Oh yeah, these uh, sound stream tweets on the pillars. I, I need to redo the pillars. They don't work. I blew all the blew the shit out of all of them a while back. Uh, yeah, they're just there for looks. But uh, yeah, well, let's maybe go play some bass music on this thing so you guys can uh, see what she does. Oh yeah, plenty of audio techniques uh, down there, about 125 square foot. 
of a uh, deadener in here. Doors, roof, back hatch, deadener everywhere. Um, yeah, I think that's it. All right, let's go play some bass. All right, folks, and here we are. Some extremely uh, remote location. Same one I use all the time. I was gonna do a distance test also, but you guys know the Miz and Highs are loud. There's no need for all that. There's really not a need for me to do uh, play some music, but I'm gonna do it because I like to see that windshield bounce. Yes, you take a big, 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 big